So we're down here at the Easy Fix stand. I'm here with David Hayes. David, tell us a little bit about the, the products here behind us. Yeah, well, I mean, um, Easy Fix, I suppose, has prided itself in the past few years of setting up uh, uh, most, the most comfortable cow cubicle available on the, on the market. Like, And uh, we've, uh, we've different matting solutions there for, uh, I suppose, different to suit different budgets and that, you know. And um, basically, I suppose, the, the, most, the most common one we sell in this country, I suppose, is the, is the Libra, like, so it's the most comfortable mat we have, you know, um, in, as comfort goes, I suppose, it's uh, a, a 200 kilo hoof sinks into the mat about uh, 12 mil or so. And um, it's, 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 it's the most economic mat we have. Um, obviously, the, the cubicles are seen there, they're available in, in three different colors, uh, blue, red, and green. And um, they really have taken off. Uh, they're out 10 years this year. We've been selling them since 2009. And uh, we've over 300,000 sold worldwide. And um, indeed, we're selling them in 40 different countries now at this stage. So there's a lot of interest generated in this plowing championship. Okay. I suppose, why is it important, David, to, you know, to have a, a right cubicle um, for cow comfort, I suppose? Well, I suppose, as, as herd sizes have increased, um, there has been more issues with, as, as, as more cubicles and more steel has come into sheds. And the plastic allows the cow to lunge and lie down uh, normally. So we're, we're, we're bringing the comfort of outdoors indoors. And like there's no bumps or abrasions on the cows, um, backs are on their spines and they're much happier to and more confident to lie in the in the cubicle in a more natural manner, you know? Yeah. So we've different cubicles over here, different mat sizes, David. Tell yeah. us a little bit about those. Um, well, we've we've three different cubicles. We have the the cam, the siesta, and the dream. Okay, so the cam is basically two straight pipes and the loop connecting both. Um, the siesta is more developed for sand beds and stuff. Uh, there's a single bend here in the bottom pipe. Uh, it creates a larger lunging area in between for mainly for larger cows. And finally, then we have the, the easy fix dream here is a double bend on the bottom pipe. And um, it, 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 the idea is to follow the line of the, the, the back of the cow, the spinal back of the cow, okay? Um, moving on, I suppose, then we, we're moving on in, in, in our next mat up, I suppose, is the single foam mattress is known as the Phoenix. Um, so there's a 25 mil foam latex mixture underneath with a 5 mil stud over the, over, the, over the latex foam, okay? The idea of that is it creates a 5 mil layer of air so it's actually increasing the cushion. So whereas, there's a, whereas the 12 mil cushion in the Libra, there's a 22 mil cushion in the Phoenix. And that moves on then to the Neptune. <clears throat> it's our next double foam mattress. It's two inches thick, 60 mil thick in the center. And it has a 33 mil deflection, okay? Yeah, so David, what, what do you see when you, when you, from farms? You know, is, is it the larger scale dairy farmers maybe going for this type of product, maybe the smaller ones going? Or what trend can you see, can you well, see among farmers? At the moment, uh, we've noticed, I suppose, that the, the jobs are quite big, I suppose. There's any, most of the jobs are anything from 40 to 50 cubicles right up to 200 to 300 cubicles. So there's a large range of dairy farmers buying these. I have noticed the jobs in, since 2015, since quotas have, have gone, there has been large scale expansion in the last couple of years. So the jobs have been around the 150 cubicle mark, a lot of them, you know. Yeah, David, I want to move you over here to this. This is one of your new products, uh, a feed barrier. Tell yeah. us the features, tell us the, the importance of this or, or what's this got to offer? Yeah, I suppose um, it has basically only been brought out there in the last two years and um, we, 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 we won a prestigious uh, innovation award there in the Highland Show in, in Scotland there recently. But um, I suppose the idea of the, the feed rail is that the cow can feed out through the rail the, um, comfortably without getting any bumps or abrasions on her neck and she has free access to lift up her head and move backwards, okay? And uh, there's an eight inch bend here, eight inches of extra reach on the bend of the pipe. Mm -hmm. So she's not pushing against the barrier as such. So she's, and if she does push, she can move the pipe rather easily to reach any extra feed, okay? Okay. David, I'll move you on again here to the, to the, the rubber the rubber slats, the, the rubber mats on the slats. Yeah. Um, who's buying these? Is it beef finishers, bull finishers, dairy farmers? Yeah, well, I suppose at the moment, um, we're offering two different slat mats there. There's our, our regular mat there with the diamond grip has been available since 1996. And um, I suppose we're the market leader in it, in supplying them in, in, the, in Europe at the moment, and um, we, have a, we have a newer one then that was maybe made available maybe three years ago. It's a smooth and it's smooth finish on it, and it's it's sloped either side to get away the drainage quicker and to keep them drier. I suppose that at the moment um, 
the, with the pressure that's on the beef price at the minute, uh, the interest is probably down on that on those particular products. Like, but at the, hopefully the market will settle and that agreement will be reached yeah. in the near future. Yeah, um, you've done a little bit of research, or you have research. Um, do you know what I mean? That actually bulls or, or whatever animals getting finished, you know, the, the better weight yeah. and stuff like that. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, look at. Um, Obviously, the, the, the animals that get the best gain from this are the animals that are hardest on themselves, and that would be bulls. Like Bulls can get anthony up to 25% gain on them. On regular steers and heifers, they get somewhere between maybe 10 to 12%. Um, but obviously, from a welfare point of view and comfort point of view, animals lying on, on cold concrete, like it's, it's in a cold winter's morning, it's as cold as ice, it's, it's sucking, the, sucking the heat out of the animals, you know? Whereas the rubber is keeping them up and insulated off, off the ground, you know? Yeah. Uh, and look, easy fix, they have something for everyone, dairy farmers and beef farmers, they have it. Yeah, well, we'd, we'd find a lot of mixed farmers even. There's, there's dairy farmers there that are finishing, finishing a lot of beef animals all the time, and um, there's a lot of interest from them on it. Like, but I suppose the, at the moment, uh, the intensive bull beef finishers are, would be, wouldn't be coming forward at the moment, I suppose, with the bull beef price is, is not helping things yeah. that, in, that, in that regard. But a lot of the beef finishers probably would be aiming towards maybe some of the smoother mask um, once the keep the animals cleaner and that for the factory, you know? Okay. Well, thanks very much for talking to us today, Deb. Okay. No problem. Thanks, man.